fantastic thing about working within virtual environments is that we don't even need to have the physical products here in the studio with us. My name is Ollie Newland, and in this episode of our Panasonic Live series, we'll be covering some of our latest innovations that can be used within a virtual studio environment. Thank you, Ollie. And hello, everyone. My name is Dean Offords, and in this edition of Panasonic Live, we'll be covering our new look system camera lineup and the exciting new 4K PTZ, the AW UE100. We'll also be looking at KROS, our next generation live production platform. KROS sits at the center of the production you're watching right now, and we'll be covering it in more detail later in the episode. Let's start with our new look system camera lineup for 2020. We have two new system cameras. The first is the AK HC3900, our entry level offering that can simultaneously output both HDR and SDR. It also includes a future upgrade option to support 4K at 50 and 60p, making it a cost effective option for live production environments. The UC3300 becomes our mid range system. It extends on the feature set found in the HC3900 by supporting 4K as standard, in addition to two times high speed shooting when in HD. Completing the lineup is the flagship UC4000, which continues to be used on major live events globally and supports both slow motion capture and media over IP, as we're demonstrating here. We see the UC3300 as being the perfect option for the rental market, as it can be used with the existing components of the camera chain of the UC4000. The HC3900 introduces a brand new CCU, the AK HCU250, which includes a 3G trunk and 3G prompter functionality. The new ROP, the AK HRP250, is powered over an Ethernet connection, and both the ROP and the CCU are equipped with SD card slots to store various settings for a multi-camera setup. Both the HC3900 and UC3300 benefit from the use of a super 35 mm MOS sensor and therefore counteract potential moire issues that can otherwise be a problem when using LED backdrops like we are here. These features support the creation of hybrid worlds whereby both the physical and the digital world can be bridged together, meaning that the picture is non-obtrusive when used in a virtual environment such as this. We understand that in today's world, now more than ever, reliable remote technology needs to be deployed at pace and in a cost-effective manner. We've seen a major growth in the demand for higher quality video content from cameras that could be operated remotely with flexible operation. Virtual environments pose even more benefits to an audience when using our technology. The UE100 has been developed to meet these requirements and offers some truly innovative features that will help some of the challenges faced by production teams all over the world. This includes a newly designed direct drive motor system for more precise pan and tilt movement. The UE100 also has a new optical zoom range of up to 24 times, opening up more opportunities to shoot from a distance whilst maintaining high quality image even at high zoom ratios. The UE100 also offers UHD image capture up to 50 and 60p from a new half inch sensor along with a variety of interfaces, including 12G SDI, 3G SDI, HDMI, and IP, which can all be used simultaneously on a production. Finally, we can use POE++ for power, video, and control over a single network cable. Be sure to check out the UE100 webinar on our Panasonic Business YouTube channel, which provides a more comprehensive breakdown and some of the other key features of this unique camera. Let's take a look at an industry favorite network device interface, otherwise known as NDI, and the developments Panasonic has made to support this amazing protocol. Dean, what is NDI? For the first time ever in a Panasonic PTZ camera, high bandwidth NDI can be used inside the UB100. This allows for minimum latency and visually lossless compression over a standard ethernet network, pushing the notion of a true single cable solution. Let's demonstrate NDI for you here in the studio. 
both the NDI and the SDI signals are being processed by KROS here in our virtual set. For those at home, you would not be able to tell the difference between SDI, a traditional analog video signal, to NDI, a complete network video signal over the ethernet. NDI supports both HD and 4K video up to 50 and 60p, with bit rates ranging from 100 megabits per second for full HD transmission up to 250 megabits per second for 4K transmission. NDIHX, as found in the rest of our PTZ camera lineup, enables low latency video transmission at lower bit rates that's traditionally found with high bandwidth NDI. The other killer feature on the UE100 is that of secure reliable transport, otherwise known as SRT. SRT is another open source protocol that supports the delivery of secure, high quality and low latency video across public networks. To demonstrate this, we're going to bring in Jaume, currently located in Barcelona, into our studio here in London. Jaume, can you explain to us what we're doing here? Yes, I am uh, connected through SRT by using the new UE100 PTZ camera. And this is uh, a new protocol that we have uh, uh, recently adopted that allows to connect the camera through public networks. We are using, uh, in this case, a vMix to decode that signal. And as you can see, we are using my home uh, connections because one of the good things of this protocol is that it's uh, very easy to jump across the firewalls and use internet for a connection like we are doing now. Will the audience notice a video quality difference in SRT being an IP signal? SRT is uh, agnostic uh, from, from the format point of view, uh, mm -hmm. but of course it, mm -hmm. it adapts to the, to the network condition at, at every time. So we can choose um, the encoding from H.264 to H.265. It can be HD but like it is now, but it can be up to 4K. So in case you have a good connection and good bandwidth, you can go uh, up to 4K and, and have a really, really uh, good quality. The same for the frame rate. It could be 25 frames like we are doing now. It can be up to 50. So you can really have a, a very high quality by using a, a public network. So this is why SRT is so good for, for remote production by using a standard uh, connectivity. Thanks, Jaume. Dean, what other technology have we got here in the virtual space? In the studio here, we have the MoSIS Star Tracker, which has been combined with the AW UE150 4K PTZ camera. The UE150, as well as the UE100, uniquely supports 3D data output, perfect for virtual sets and providing frame accurate data output, which has been combined with the MoSIS Star Tracker for the first time. Normally, the Star Tracker system provides pan, tilt, roll, X, Y, and Z movement coordinates, as well as the lens, zoom, and focus data, as found here with our UC4000 within our virtual set. The new Star Tracker PTZ simplifies this process, providing X, Y, and Z movement data only, and merges the movement frame accurately with the UE150's pan, tilt, zoom, and focus data. This produces the complete data set required. Camera roll data is ignored, making it much simpler to install on virtual sets like this. We now want to introduce you to a real game changer for those involved in high quality video productions and for those working in a live production environment. It's called KROS, and as mentioned earlier, it sits at the center of the production that you're watching right now. KROS is a next generation live production platform that enables unprecedented productivity for broadcast studios and for live events. With an ever-growing set of tools and hardware, producers need a comprehensive solution. KROS breaks free of the boundaries that come with traditional hardware. It is based on open software and can take the various components of a live program output and virtualize them, allowing productions to become even more flexible, dynamic, and most importantly, powerful. In this program right now, KROS has allowed us to work with a simultaneous combination of inputs working seamlessly together. KROS is receiving the ST2110 output from the UC4000 
we're using as our main camera right here. The 12G SDI signal from the UE150, and finally, the NDI signal from the UE100 that we covered earlier. This demonstrates how Kairos can support the transition to live IP workflows and help support the move towards true remote production. Kairos sets a new standard of usability thanks to Kairos Creator, its intuitive and extremely well-designed graphic user interface, or GUI for short. We like to refer to it as a Photoshop-style tool for live composition. Within the GUI, Kairos is able to manage an unlimited number of video layers, and because it is software-based, there is no fixed amount of mix effects or keyers, as found with conventional hardware platforms. We understand that the move towards a software-based platform isn't necessarily going to happen overnight. Therefore, we've also created a dedicated hardware panel called Kairos Control. An increase in the creation of remote production facilities means that more Kairos Creator and Kairos Control sites can be added to a network wherever an operator or an engineer needs to be. As a platform, Kairos is both resolution and format independent. This means that it can operate with standard resolutions such as HD and UHD, but also with non-traditional formats such as 32 by 9 for an LED backdrop display as an example. The size of the canvas is freely set by the operator as shown within our virtual studio right here. This would take a lot of time to create with a conventional Kia, but with Kairos it is possible with a simple configuration inside the GUI. In addition to supporting multiple signals, the platform offers a latency of just a single frame, a first on the market, which makes Kairos an extremely powerful tool for live production. Kairos offers a new level of flexibility and control, bringing the future of live production closer than one might expect. For TV studios, Kairos seamlessly integrates into the facility's ST2110 infrastructure without requiring additional IP gateways. For houses of worship, Kairos handles current screen management and linear broadcast needs, but can also accommodate new devices or non-traditional displays. And finally, for sports and entertainment venues or live event productions, staff with diverse experience and backgrounds can employ the user-friendly GUI to deliver engaging content or set up complex systems with limited training time. Kavos, delivering creative and operational freedom for live production. Now it's time to take a look at the behind the scenes of our virtual studio and discover how the show was produced. Thank you very much for watching.